Maker. I'm going to show you how you can recycle an old cotton jumper into a fabulous character bubble skirt dress. What you'll need is some material in the pattern of your choice. We chose this gorgeous Minnie Mouse pattern that Chelsea just loves. You'll need a cheap jumper. So we got this blue, acre blue jumper from Best and Less for $3. You'll need some scissors, some pins, a piece of paper, probably preferably A3 if you're the one sort of over the age of one, and you'll need a sewing machine or some needle and thread if you want to hand sew. Using your piece of paper, you'll want to trace out this pattern, uh, which will essentially become the skirt of your jumper dress. So along the top, 30 centimetres for the width of the dress, uh, 28 centimetres long, and you'll want to cut two of these on the fold and make sure you've drawn your fold line, which will go against the grain. So this measurement will be perfect for Chelsea, who's two and a half and wears somewhere between a size two and three. Um, essentially, all you need to do is bring down the measurements if your little one is younger than that and extend it and make it a little bit longer and the width a little bit longer if your little one is older than that. Um, I would say probably if you add maybe two to three centimetres per size up or down that you're wanting to go. But because you ruche it, it really doesn't matter and you can do a little bit of trial and error. What you want to do is place down your material so the right sides are together. Make sure that your grain line runs along the same side or parallel to your fold. Place your pattern piece of paper onto your folded material so that the fold drawing part is against the fold line and pin it down. and then cut it out. You'll then want to repeat this process when you're done so that you have two identical pieces. Again, you'll want to then repeat this process two more times, but with this, these next two pieces, you'll want to extend the length by about three to four centimeters. This is gonna be sort of the critical part in making the bubble dress effect. So as I said, you'll want four pieces in total, two folded pieces that are exactly the same length as your pattern, two more pieces that are about three or four centimeters longer than the pattern. So you should have four pieces all together. And then what you want to do is snip your jumper in half. So what you want to do is then join your two pieces right side together and you want to sew down each of the two shorter sides so that you have one long piece that if you can imagine will become the skirt. I am very lucky to have an overlocker so I'm going to use that just because it's quicker and a little bit easier but you can also use a sewing machine no problems. Um, you can either sew just a straight stitch um, and then edge the sides with a zigzag stitch or if you've got a couple of different features on your um, sewing machine just look for one that's got the kind of overlocker um, style and you can just go along the edges. two pieces and what you want to do is to put one of your pieces the right way out like so and then you want to put it inside the one that turns the wrong way out and you also want to make sure that you match your um, seams just so it looks really neat when you turn it the in the right way around and what you want to do is sew the part where if you've got a pattern which has a right way up, you want to sew the bottom of the dress. So here you can see we're going to sew the bottom of Minnie's feet. Um, that's the side that we're going to sew. So again, you can either sew it um, 
or overlock it, whatever one you've got. So now the bottom is sewed to the top. What we now want to do is turn it the in the right way around. Like so. And then what you need to do up here is on both of the both sides, so the top and the bottom, you want to sew a long stitch on a high tension. So long stitch high tension because what you're going to want to be to do is to gather it so you want to ruche it and this is the easiest way that I find to do that. So I'm going to put my tension up to nine so it's really tense and it will pull the material through um, to kind of start ruching it. I also want to make my stitch length as long as possible so I'm going to make my stitch length five on my machine and what I'm going to do is sew probably about mm, a centimetre down from the top all the way around. And then I'm going to repeat this process on the other side. What you want to do is get the end of your thread and start to pull your material through. And what you'll see happen is if you can see that it will start to kind of ruch all the way around. And once you're done, the two sides should look like this. Now you'll also remember that we cut the pattern of our skirt slightly longer on one of the sides so that when you sew it together it creates a bubble skirt type effect like so. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that the seam part is on the inside of the skirt and the longer part that bubbles all the way round is on the outside. Then grab your jumper and what you want to do is line up the cut end of your jumper, so the part that you snipped in half, and you want to line this up with the unsewed section or the ruse section of your skirt. Now we have two seams on both the jumper and on the skirt, so a great way to line up your skirt is to line up both of your seams and pop it together with a pin and then line up the two seams on the other side and again pin it together. And then before you sew, just check that you've got the three pieces of material and that the jumper, the right side of the jumper material and the right side of the Minnie Mouse material are facing together. And when your jumper dress is laid out the way that I can show you here, you'll also want to make sure the seam is on the outside facing you. And you're almost done. One more step. And again, you can either use your overlocker serger or use your sewing machine. Uh, I use my overlocker and just overlocked all three pieces of material together all the way around. But you can also use your sewing machine and either use a zigzag stitch, a straight stitch or an overlocker stitch. Um, all will work perfectly fine. So all the way around, attaching all three pieces of material together. And it's time for the big reveal. Flip it out the right way round and ta-da, you are done. And the great part about these DIY jumper dresses is that you can create any color and pattern that you like. Chelsea's favorite at the moment is Minnie Mouse. So we created her a gorgeous Minnie Mouse. We also made a special Star Wars one for her cousin Billy and an extra special Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles dress for her other cousin Gracie who is five. So this is a much bigger dress that Chelsea insisted on trying on. So go on, give it a go.